Prospective, Concurrent, and Retrospective Validation in Pharma. Overview of the three types of process validation essential to ensuring consistent quality and compliance in pharma manufacturing. Welcome to our guide on validation in pharmaceutical manufacturing. We'll explore three main types of validation, prospective, concurrent, and retrospective. Each type helps ensure high quality, safe, and consistent drug production. Validation is key to meeting industry standards and regulations. Let's dive into how each validation type supports product quality in unique ways. Introduction to Process Validation Process validation verifies that manufacturing consistently produces quality products. It's a structured approach to ensure safety and compliance across all batches. Validation helps prevent variations that could compromise product quality. This process is essential for maintaining safety and reliability in pharma. Without validation, patients' health and safety could be at risk. IMSA of validation in pharma. Validation is crucial for ensuring the safety and consistency of drugs. It confirms that manufacturing processes produce products meeting quality standards. With effective validation, companies can avoid product recalls and quality issues. This process builds trust with patients and regulators alike. Overall, Validation plays a foundational role in reliable pharmaceutical manufacturing. Overview of validation types. There are three main types of validation, prospective, concurrent, and retrospective. Each type is used in different scenarios depending on the product and process stage. Prospective validation is done before production starts. Concurrent validation occurs during active production. Retrospective validation uses past data to confirm process consistency. What is prospective validation? Prospective validation is done before commercial production begins. It tests and verifies processes to ensure they are effective and reliable. This type identifies potential issues early, reducing risks in later production. It's typically used when launching new products or processes. Prospective validation builds a strong foundation for consistent quality. Purpose of prospective validation. The goal of prospective validation is to ensure process readiness. By testing in advance, manufacturers can prevent production issues. This helps to avoid costly changes and ensure reliable product output. Prospective validation is ideal for ensuring quality from the start. It gives confidence that the process is safe and meets all standards. Steps in prospective validation. Prospective validation includes designing, testing, and documenting the process. It involves setting up controls and parameters for consistent outcomes. Each step is carefully recorded to demonstrate quality and safety. This planning helps catch problems before they affect production. Proper documentation is essential for regulatory approval. Example of prospective validation. A new drug product may undergo prospective validation to verify equipment and processes. Testing is done before any product reaches patients, ensuring safety. Each step confirms that the equipment functions as expected. This proactive approach prevents issues in large-scale manufacturing. Prospective validation is especially useful for new or complex products. Pros and cons of prospective validation. Pros. It reduces risk and ensures high control over product quality. Cons. It can be time-consuming and expensive to implement. Prospective validation is thorough, but requires detailed planning and resources. The benefits include fewer issues during production and greater reliability. Overall, it's an investment in consistent product quality. What is concurrent validation? Concurrent validation is performed during actual production. It allows monitoring and adjusting processes in real time. This type is helpful for urgent products or high demand situations. Concurrent validation collects immediate data as production continues. It's especially useful when data needs to be gathered quickly. Purpose of concurrent validation. Concurrent validation ensures product quality during live production. It enables companies to release products sooner to meet market needs. The process is ideal for urgent products where data is limited. Real-time adjustments can be made to address any process issues. This approach allows for flexibility and immediate quality control. Steps in concurrent validation. It begins with monitoring quality metrics as production runs. Data is collected continuously to confirm consistency and quality. 
Adjustments are made as needed based on real-time results. All changes are documented to ensure transparency and control. This type of validation supports fast-paced manufacturing needs. Example of concurrent validation. Concurrent validation is used for critical products in high demand, such as vaccines. Quality is monitored closely as production continues to meet urgent needs. Immediate data collection allows for quick decisions on adjustments. This approach supports rapid product availability without sacrificing quality. It's a valuable method in times of high market demand. Pros and cons of concurrent validation. Pros, allows quick market release and immediate feedback on process quality. Cons, higher risk as adjustments happen during live production. Concurrent validation provides real-time insights, but can be challenging to manage. It's ideal for situations where time is critical, but thorough monitoring is needed. The main trade-off is balancing speed with careful quality checks. What is retrospective validation? Retrospective validation uses historical production data to confirm consistency. It's often applied to products and processes with a stable, established history. This type is useful for confirming long-standing processes are still effective. Retrospective validation relies on past data rather than new testing. It's especially suited for processes that haven't changed significantly over time. Purpose of Retrospective Validation Retrospective validation aims to confirm quality using existing production records. It's ideal for products with consistent batch results over time. This validation saves time and resources by using historical data. It's commonly used for well-established products with minimal process changes. Retrospective validation helps verify stability and reliability. Steps in retrospective validation. First, historical batch data is collected and analyzed. Data trends are reviewed to confirm process consistency. Deviations or issues are noted for potential process improvements. Documentation is updated to reflect findings and insights. This approach helps verify quality without new production tests. Example of retrospective validation. An older medication with years of stable production data may use retrospective validation. Consistent quality results from past batches provide assurance of reliability. This validation type confirms the process remains effective over time. Retrospective validation is especially valuable for long-standing products. It allows quality checks without interrupting production. Pros and cons of retrospective validation. Pros, cost-effective and doesn't require new testing. Cons, limited to stable, unchanged processes. Retrospective validation relies on consistency, so it's unsuitable for new products. It's ideal for confirming well-established process stability. This type can efficiently support quality checks for legacy products. Comparing validation types. Prospective, concurrent, and retrospective validation each serve unique purposes. Prospective is pre-production. Concurrent happens during production. Retrospective uses past data. Each has its strengths and limitations based on product and process needs. Choosing the right type depends on the situation, product history, and timing. Knowing when to use each type ensures reliable and consistent quality. When to use each validation type. Perspective is best for new products or untested processes. Concurrent is ideal for urgent or high-demand products needing immediate release. Retrospective suits established products with a history of quality production. Each type ensures that the process meets quality standards appropriately. The choice depends on production goals, market needs, and regulatory expectations. Regulatory requirements. Regulatory bodies expect thorough validation for pharmaceutical processes. Each type of validation is reviewed to ensure products are safe and effective. Validation helps meet industry regulations, avoiding potential penalties. Proper documentation and adherence to standards are essential. Following validation practices helps ensure regulatory compliance. Real-world examples. Case studies show how validation has prevented product recalls and quality issues. Validation is critical to maintaining trust with patients and regulatory bodies. Inconsistent validation has led to fines and production shutdowns. Reliable validation builds a strong reputation for product quality. These examples highlight the importance of a thorough validation strategy. Future trends in validation. Automation and AI are helping improve validation processes.
Real-time monitoring offers faster, more accurate insights into quality. Digital tools reduce errors and improve efficiency in validation. The industry is evolving toward data-driven, predictive validation methods. These trends support ongoing improvements in product quality and safety. Conclusion and key takeaways. Validation is essential for quality and compliance in pharma. Prospective, concurrent, and retrospective validation each play a unique role. Using the right type ensures consistent and reliable product manufacturing. Effective validation protects patient safety and meets regulatory standards. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more pharma insights. Thank you for watching. We hope this video helped clarify the essentials of prospective, concurrent, and retrospective validation in the pharmaceutical industry. If you found this content valuable, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to PharmaTox. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on all things pharma, from regulatory guidelines to industry insights, helping you advance in your career or business. Don't miss out on our upcoming videos packed with expert knowledge and tips. Subscribe now and join our growing community passionate about making a difference in pharma. See you in the next video.